Thank you for joining us at SG Ammo today as we test fire a semi-automatic PKM. It's a Hungarian model made here, assembled in the USA with Hungarian parts, made to be semi-automatic. We also have the UKM, which is the Czech version of the PKM, which is also assembled here in the USA with a, a mix of American-made and Czech-made parts. We're going to be using Wolf LVE Nova Spirsk ammunition. It's a light ball, 148 grain bimetal case and projectile. And then we have Preppy Partisan Military Contract 2019 Manufacturer Heavy Ball. This is a product they made for a military contract, but COVID-19 messed that up and it ended up over here. And the Wolf, of course, is Russian made. It was imported before the war started and all the flow stopped from the factories in Russia, but a great product. It's uh, my favorite of all the Russian 762-54 options. If you need either of these, we have them in stock here at sgmo.com. Uh, of course, you can use them in Mosin de Gans or any other 7.62 by 54 our firearm. Uh, today, we're just going to be test firing in the belt beds for fun. So without further ado, we'll start with the PKM. All right, now it's time for the semi-auto Hungarian PKM. I've got targets down there in those barrels, but the PKM, I'll shoot at the left. All right, I'm going to switch it up over to heavy ball. All right, now it's time for brass case, heavy ball, premi partisan. All right, works pretty well. All right, now it's time for our UKM. All right, it runs pretty well. We'll switch over to heavy ball. All right, now it's time to switch over to the UKM using heavy ball for every partisan. All right, we'll stop there. All right, that concludes today's test of the PKM semi-automatic and the UKM semi-automatic belt-fed rifles here. We had a fun day today shooting both of these. Uh, both of them proved to be 100% reliable. They both fed and functioned as they should. We did shoot some targets down there. The, the PKM with the iron sights is just a little bit easier to get on target. Uh, versus the UKM, uh, the scope needs some adjustment there. Should have done that ahead of time, but uh, 
you know, it didn't happen. So we'll probably dial that in and retest with it later. I do have to say from a comfort point of view, the PKM, uh, it hits the shoulder a little bit harder. The UKM has a milled receiver versus stamped receiver and that, that added weight probably makes it a little bit more comfortable. It also has the modern butt stock with a recoil pad on it. So uh, all things considered, the, the UKM was more comfortable to shoot. Uh, the PKM gives you that nostalgia kind of look of the original military configuration. So they're both great guns. If you're looking for a belt fed gun in 7.62 by 54R, I recommend either one of them. They're kind of scarce, but they do go around these days. Uh, the advantage of the UKM is you can still get uh, drums and belts or whatever you want to call it, the ammo can. It clips onto the gun there and the belts are really widely available and very cheap. The PKMs are out there, they're a little bit more expensive. Uh, but great guns, a lot of fun to shoot. We hope you enjoyed our video and if you need 7.62 by 54 our ammunition, we have it in stock here at sgammo.com. Thanks for joining us today.